Um, who'd like to start us off? Would anyone like to start us off?
Thank you. The drums, of course. This one's got a lovely, like, downy, you know, like a, yeah, it's very, very soft, sort of silky fur on this one. Somehow, when you feel like the other longer bits of fur that we know move. So that's generally like when we drum with people, that is how we, we drum. We don't first of all follow because then, you know, it's very organised and we're not trying to drum in an organised way with our minds in that way. So helps us to enjoy the sounds with the organicness of it, you know, sometimes it sounded quite like what you might call tight, it kind of came together and then it was more loose and that's all, you know, it's just beautiful, isn't it, because it's just, it's not, it's not like an instruction, and I like that, there's so many instructions in life, it's, it's really lovely to enjoy music and drumming together without having that correct or incorrect way of doing things, you know, it's just, it just is. Does anyone, anyone have any questions about, about the drums or, or want to share anything about... Would that be how, you know, the mood of the village would be identified through the drumming? Because if the mood was sombre, yeah. then the drumming would be sombre, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So as, everyone as would pick extension. up on that ri rhythm. Yeah, as an extension of the energy, whether it's within a person or within the land or, you know, exactly. I mean, yesterday, for instance, it was very wet and the, and the drumming was really slow. So exactly that. It was very, you know, very slow. Today, we got faster and a bit slower and, you know, but yeah, I could see yeah. the... Yeah, the so if there's the like a wedding or something, everyone would yeah. be so much more enthusiastic. Yeah, absolutely. Not necessarily at the ceremony itself, where the hand fasting mm. or whichever way they did it um, had took place. I meant after. But yeah, exactly. Like that sort of, like to raise the energy and then, the, you know, the, the dancing and the feasting. Exactly that. Um, and the mead. <laughs> and the mead. And mead. Yeah. Some, you know, so if someone's, certainly I've experienced in life, if someone's going through um, pain, whether it's uh, an emotional pain or, or physical, like, you know, or if the drums um, with others, and it just finds its own way of working with that person. There's not like, this is what it's going to do, this is how you're going to feel. So you know, in that sense as well, sort of really just trusting your um, connection with the drum and not thinking about it too much and you know, drumming fast or slow or you know it can help also when you're drumming around an area of your body that is so you've got a sore knee or a, an achy shoulder i found that it can really great to do that i mean considering we're what 70 or 80 percent water and this week we were working on a water sun project where we you know showing how water changes the sound and, and you, you can physically see that when we use an example of water on a cymbal and then you, you know you're beating it and how it changes shape so if you're drumming or playing an instrument right next to your body and uh, that you know what, what does that do to the fluid in our body you know how does that change us? well they've just got onto vibrations haven't they so the drum is the basic vibration yeah. so um these modern things where they vibrate on your arm and stuff. Right, cool. yeah. yeah, so they've just started to look at vibration as a therapy or a, a way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, way back it was there, wasn't it? And then we sort of, it got lost somehow, you know, through the years. And then we're, um, it seems to be in a place where we're rediscovering, so there's more, more, yeah, certainly whether we're finding it naturally or where, where the modern science is going to have a minute. <laughs> um, vibration or plants, let's look at that plant, you know, because you know, self heal for instance, is a really beautiful little flower. It's so understated, I don't know if you know it. Beautiful little purple, purple little, it's so, you know, so subtle. And yet, you know, that's one of the plants where science is going. Let's see how that can help with cancer, for instance. Because it's been proven to, yeah, herbs. We turned our back, didn't we? We turned our back on. Yeah. 
when we should have been progressing from nature yes. rather than yeah. against nature. Indeed, I guess industrialisation would help us too, because it was more about the industrious mm. than to be focusing on what's <laughs> It looks, it looks like someone had done like a, a sideways Jenga with the oh, right. of firewood. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone knows what Jenga is. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was a sort of Anglo-Saxon uh, like, way of Jenga. And then the modern times with like, you know, we adapted it.